They say this is a big rich town. I just come from the poet's part. Bright light city life, I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. Yeah. That's my part right there. Yeah. Yo. Cats was getting laid out up in this piece. Up in this episode. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Them screets is watching for show. We gonna get into it. Cause we back. For another episode recap of that good, good Power Book 2 Ghost, Season 4, Episode 6, entitled The Devil's Playground. Welcome to Grown Movies and TV. I am your humble and most honorable host, Real. And this episode is brought to you via way of some good ass energy. And my co-pilot, alcohol. Thank you, alcohol. Let's just get down to brass tacks, shall we? So we start off with Detective Carter doing his rounds, you know, that good police work. Carter on that shug. He got a cat hanging over the balcony and all of that, all under the watchful eye of Drew. Drew got that long lens camera on Carter like he the popo. He's snapping pics. Gets a text from Monet like, what's the 411? What's the 411, huh? I got it going on. Oh, yeah, I got it going on. Ayo, what's the 411, huh? You know, because the Tejada's out there trying to get some dirt on Carter. Trying to come up from under his dirty little thumbprint. You know. They on that. Hustler struggle bus right now. (laughs) Out here looking bad in these streets. Drew drops his eyes to address Monet's text. Looks back up. Carter gone. He don't know whether the cat got thrown from the balcony or whether he sent Carter off with a ham sandwich. He don't know. All he know is Carter gone from his view. Just then he gets a text from an unknown number. Looks back down. Text say stop following me. Text say stop following me. Drew looked back up. And in his rear view mirror, Carter standing there giving him the dirty bird. (laughs) Drew peace out with the quickness. Looked like Drew done started something. Look like Drew done started something for show. Because next thing we know, they all back at Monet crib. You know, the new and unimproved Tahada clan. Diana and Monet just getting in fresh from baby shopping. Drew fresh in from playing inch high private eye. <laughs> all of a sudden, Carter crew just run up in they spot. No knock. No doorbell ring. Gats out. Gats up. Task force is on one today. Antsy. Missing they cut. And they wants it. Now Monet ain't feeling this intrusion at all. She like, oh, hell no. I could have been in my drawers up in this piece. Guns out. Buns out. All of that. 
goes to call her lawyer. Carter like, I thought maybe you forgot how to use a phone or something because you ain't been returning none of my calls. So here I am. And here we are. Where my cut though? From the stash I let y'all peace out with the other night. Where it at? Lay that bread on me. Give up the guap. Give up that Lucini. He look on the table. Look like they fresh up out of boutique. Fresh up out the mall. Shopping bags galore on the table. He like y'all shopping and shit. And I ain't get my cut. Monet tell him they distro. Well, they still distributing. <laughs> he like, who product was that y'all stole from anyway? You know, because that little transaction that went down, where he ran up on them, it wasn't on his radar. Only way he found out about it was on the strength of him tailing the Tejada crew. Seem like it's a player in town that he ain't introduced himself to yet. Or somebody is withholding information. Appears he don't like that shit at all. Carter presses her for that contact. But Monet, she keeps that Noma detail close to the vest. Tells him she only know where it was going. Not whose it was. Just then Carter gets a call. That one of the cats they shot when they jacked Monet up the other night. Well, he ain't die. And he about to sing like Minnie Ripperton. La 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 la. 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 Do 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 do. I know I'm wrong. They get the piecing up out of there. Felicia take their little baby purchases. And Nico take Drew. <laughs> he like, a purchase. I'm taking a body. Put Drew in the cuffs and all of that. Carter tells him they got a little job for him. And they take Drew up out of there. Put him in the orange jumpsuit. And all of that down at county. <laughs> Or wherever they took him. Tells Drew the cat Zay. One of the new recruits from the other night. The one they shot. Is alive. And they need Drew. To unalive him. You know finish him off. Send little player. To the crossroads. And he got 24 hours. To do it. Or he gonna be performing the thong song. Early night. Little Drew Hill gonna be performing the thong song every night till he meet a shank up in that piece. Like it when the booty go da 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 da. Like it when the booty go da 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 da. That thong, da thong, thong, thong. <laughs> Told Drew he gonna be singing the thong song up in cell block B. Gives him a little burner phone. Leaves him to it. Drew get up in the mess hall. Gets him a burger and a jello. You know, it was burger day up in that piece. Over here is Roman, Zion's ex main man who got popped, up in there talking about how he going to rat out Carter and his crew. You know, Roman trying to get his freedom back, trying to get back to them soft ass red lobster butter biscuits. <laughs> He like, Shit, I'm trying to get back to that red lobster. Now, this news is a bonus right here. This is some news that Drew can use. Drew get to eyeballing Roman. It's Roman like the f you looking at. Drew get up, sets it off with Roman. Noticed a little bit ago before Roman sat down. And he was picking on this weak cat, you know. Deboed him and all of that. Took his little burger. 
Drew like, you want to take my burger too? Roman like, man, sit your, sit your little b ass down. Don't nobody want your gay booty hole. He like, I want that straight butt. That unclaimed, untampered with doo-doo maker. <laughs> and Keon looking like a Georgia peach right now. So, you know, Drew get the whooping Roman's predatory ass. <laughs> Plan in motion. Cops get the whooping Drew ass. And they take him to the jail hospital where Zay at. Drew finds a minute when the ward was empty. Like, everybody was on a smoke break, you know. F*** on a jail hospital was he in. <laughs> Goes over to a week, sleeping Zay, finishes him off. Gets up out of there smooth, lets Nico know the job is done. Gives him the news about Roman as a bonus. Tells him Roman... Could be next to go to the crossroads, you know. But only if Drew can join their little club. If he can be a capo in their organization. <laughs> and his mama and Dirty die. Well, they get left to move about with impunity in them streets. And that's the deal. That's what Drew put on the table. Nico like, I'll see what I can do. Now, meanwhile, while all of that is happening, the black sheep of the Tejada clan came, taking up a meeting with Noma, Tariq, and Brayton. Noma like, how dare you sell more drugs? <laughs> how dare you sell more drugs after I let you live? After our agreement? The nerve of you. She like, you lucky my daughter showed up when she did. Tariq was about to tell her, where else Anya been showing up? <laughs> On his bare lap with her bare ass. <laughs> Tariq like, well, speaking of your daughter, we've been getting quite close, you know. She been spending the night at my crib and all of that. Told her she was spending the night at his crib so much, he was starting to feel like Ron Isley. Spend the night with me tonight. Ce soir tonight. Golden lady. <laughs> Y'all know what the f I'm talking about. No more like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. If you like having all your damn teeth in your mouth, put a chill on it, little player. Braden breaks out a little flash drive. You know, the one they jacked from slain Agent Young some episodes back. She know what's on that. But they remind her anyway. Says if anything happens to them, that flash drive immediately gets one day Amazon shipped to Anya. And the Popo, who gonna love its contents. Tariq like, leave us alone. And this stay safe with us. Noma's response, a most efficient piss off. Because, you know, Tariq might be a lot of things. But his record ain't so great with her at keeping his word. But what's she gonna do? And piss off, they all do. Now, as the piss off and the peace out ensues, Norma tells Kane she about to get ready for this meeting with Wiley Adams. Needs Kane to find out who robbed a shipment. Needs him on that now. Kane like, OK, but um, I'm coming to that Wiley Adams meet. She like, I'm good. You know, Davis already got things in place, little player. Just speaking the name Davis. 
immediately gets cane pressure up. Might get his sugar up too. Now, Kane's still carrying on this virtual pissing contest with Davis. You know, the one he in by himself. Because Davis don't give a damn. Ain't thinking about Kane still getting that ass. <laughs> but Kane's still trying to be Noma's number one. Say I'm your number one. I only want to be close to you. Ooh, oh, oh. He like, you don't need no stinking Davis. He can't do nothing. I can. I'm the one you need. I'm great. Now, we all see that Noma enjoys all this suck up that Kane doing. She digs it. And he delivers it. And they go to that meet. Look like things about to be finalized to their liking. They meet with Wiley. He like what they saying. They like what he's saying. Came about to give Wiley that envelope. That blood money. But he was handing it to him over the table. Noma took that sh** from Kane. She like, ah, 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 shows him how it's done. Hands Wiley the envelope under the table. <laughs> like physically, literally under the table. Wiley ain't even have a second to sniff the bill ink before Zion rolled up. Spun the block on a little meeting. Shot up the restaurant like he was a fifth Platoon tank gunner. This fool out the top of a Jeep roof, chilling, laid up, perched like the DC sniper, mouth open, gold tooth grinning, fills Wiley full of holes in the melee. That's what you call blood money right there in the palm of Wiley hands. Just shot him all up. And they retrieve said blood money, no money came, and they piece up out of there. Now this little thing right here sets more sh** in motion. Because Wiley was a government power broker. And Zion, well Carter and his crew connected to Zion. A little bit later, Carter gets word of the unfortunate event. Call Zion. He like, what is you doing out here? Zion tells Carter that Wiley wasn't his target. He said he don't know what happened. He was going for his target. Wiley just jumped in front of his bullets. You know, he don't. next thing you know, Wiley was in front of the gun. Carter like, well, who was your target? A quiet calm fell upon the conversation. Carter like, what the hell is going on? He like, you provide info and we protect you. Zion like, and it better stay that way or else our deal is going public. Still not telling Carter shit about who he was after. I don't know why people play their little hand like that. Like, that little, I'm a tell everybody thing like that don't never not get you with a target on your big ass forehead <laughs> like saying i'm gonna tell is ever the move like it ever was but play that card zion did carter tells him to go to a safe house because all the cops in nyc gonna be looking for him first in line Carter tells Zion they got him on camera stealing the Jeep he was in. He can't deny it. He peace up out of there. Carter tells Felicia to go and end Zion ass ASAP. Send his ass to the crossroads. Because IAB already sniffing around. And they don't need that loose end just running his big mouth. 
and go to end if Felicia does. But as she on the way, gets a call from IAB. Tells her that they got word she been using excessive force. Excessively. Told her to bring that Monopoly ass down to the station within the hour. No excuses. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. She hops in her car. Pissed off. Takes her a little bump. Little bump for Felicia. Like. <laughs> now she thinking Monet called that in. Because you know that sh happened almost immediately after she left a crib earlier. So she go to get some get back. Heads out to approach Monet with the quickness. Shows up at Monet crib. But Monet ain't there. Is met by Dirty Die. Felicia like, I'm sorry, maybe we got off on the wrong foot earlier. Trying to make nice with Die. Gets off on the other foot. Also wrong. She like, all right, f*** all the bull. I'm going to need you to head down to this safe house, see? Now, there's going to be a cat inside, see? I'm going to need you to pop him and peace up out of there. <laughs> now, I would do it. But see, I can't be in two places at the same damn time. Told Diana, I know you a killer. She like, I know you people. Stop playing like you ain't put a cat down before. Tells her if she don't. They're going to unleash the dragon on Drew Hill ass. <laughs> Told him he going to be thong songing it till his ass give out. Because, you know, he's still up in the precinct. Not just her Ben, she liked to pop because she was living la vida loca. She had dumps like a truck, 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 thighs like what? He gonna be doing the thong song in prison till he run into a shank. Gives her a burner phone. Tells her to hit her up when the deal is done. Felicia, peace up out of there. Now, Diana ain't no fool. And is skilled in the art of delegation. Goes down to see Tariq at his job at the candy shop. Now Tariq, fresh up off some of that Anya Covington loving. <laughs> she stay on top of some Tariq, don't she? Yeehaw, howdy y'all. Getting her ride and slide on. Tariq got that good loving and that good info early. Found out some details about Noma that he didn't know prior. Like where Noma's family is from, where she travels, where her home is outside of the U.S. Like he getting all the 411. And now he up in the candy shop afterwards on that spill and chill. Diana come up in there. On that manipulation. She like I got some stuff I want to tell you. But I don't know if I can trust you yet. She like now this ain't got nothing to do. With the baby player. He like well you the mother of my kid to be. So stop playing what's up. Just then Diana morning sickness kick in. Now Effie just happened to be in the candy shop at this time. Witness what she would call. The f between Tariq and Di was there for all of it. Goes over to Tariq, feeling some kind of way that Diana is alive and now having his damn baby. So you're having my baby and it means so much to me. Diana comes back over to Tariq, who's still Talking to Effie. 
They exchange some words. Effie tells Diana congrats on the baby. But that she should abort that little bastard. They exchange a few strong f*** yous. Then Effie peace up out of there. One second, y'all. Need to, need to take a quick re-up slash turn up break. One second. Woke up in the morning and my eggs was parked. Turn on the boom boom, saw the me and man bar. The cops in DC had to play scan, got up. All right, all right, all right. Now, after her little exchange with Dirty Die, Effie ends up down at Vadim spot with the Russians, drinking that vodka, that vodka. Because Noma asked her to go down. See if she could get Vadim to take some of her surplus drugs off her hands. You know, told Effie to work her magic. But before Effie could pull that rabbit out of her <laughs> Carter and his crew run in. Blow up the spot. Because what Effie didn't know is that earlier, Monet told Carter it was Vadim's supply. They jacked the other night. Set Vadim and his crew up for failure and all of that. You know, in the, in the sake of giving him a name to get him off her ass. Now, Carter thinking he just put Vadim's last shipment down with the quickness, with the efficiency. Like, how the f*** he get another shipment past me? Oh, hell no. And blow up that spot Carter and crew do, with Kamal in tow, you know, to make it look good, like he kind of part of their little task force now, for looks sake. And they come up in that joint like, NYPD, hands up. Russian cats get the blasting on 5-0. <laughs> like, blah, out. No hands up today, player. <laughs> you think this is shots ring out all over the place it's like cops and robbers up in that joint this one cat got shot and Effie played dead under his ass <laughs> she lay in there like a fly ass possum at some point when she feel the coast is clear gets up grabs her little bag with the money in it makes her way toward a door. But not before she gets stopped by one of Carter's task force cats. Cat like, what you got in there, baby girl? Effie shook from all the gunplay. And now this cat got a gat pointed at her grill. She ain't used to this kind of sh at all. The damn camera got all slow and shaky. <laughs> You know, for visual effect. Effie just on the ground like, please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Just then somebody come from behind. Pops him. Blah, out. Now this cat looking at Effie. One of the Russian cats. Like he about to shoot. She offers him the contents of her bag. He takes it and pieces up out of there. No shots. Fire. She get her shit together and made tracks. <laughs> Look like Effie shat her drawers and all of that. <laughs> Little P came out. And that cat took Effie bag, but gets caught by Nico. And this interaction between Nico and the cat with Effie's bag is being peeped by Kamal, who watching the interaction through a door crack. Kamal sees Nico put the Russian cat down. Blah! After he surrendered, put him down on some assassination type shit. Sees Nico take the bag. Look inside. He crazy man screaming. He like, ooh wee. Now, it might not have been money. might have been a bunch of drugs in there, you know. But it was a cut. 
for sure. It was a pickup. It was a come up. Come on, like, oh, shit. And they all find their way up out of there. Don't know what happened to Vadim. He skirted the fuck up out of there. Scoop. Later, Kamal meet with Carter at a spot kind of off the grid. You know, he trying to be discreet with what he got to say. Tells Carter his task force is compromised. You know, gives up Nico's name. Told him all the ways that Nico was dirty. Carter tells Kamal the deal. You know, comes clean with him. There wasn't no other way. You know, Kamal had too much information. He tells Kamal they doing God's work in these streets. Gives him an opportunity to join the task force. Kamal took a little too long to think about that shit. He like, let me take a minute to process all this. You know, this is some, some heavy shit you laying down right here, bro. You know. And Carter, give him a minute. Counted to 61 and all of that. After he got to 61, put a heavy bullet in Kamal's ass. He like 59, 60, 61. Blood out. <laughs> Kamal felt like a building came down on his ass or some shit. Kamal was like, <laughs> I ain't never seen a mofo get shot like that. Now let's get back to Tariq. And Dirty Die real quick. Because we left off with them back at the candy shop. So after the whole Effie confrontation, Diana then gives Tariq an outline of what the f*** is going on with her and her situation. Kind of lied, but kind of didn't. Tells Tariq she got a pop Zion. Or else. And he goes and tells Davis, who tells him that Zion tried to pop Noma, wound up ending a government type official. Now, based on all of this, it appears this hit is being signed off on by Noma. Tariq like, hey, if I do it, I can get back in with Noma. Tells Davis, you and me. We can all get paid on this. And Davis is all in on it. Sets up the meet. And meet they do. Tariq tells Noma. He gonna take out Zion. Cause him and Braden Montana. Well they need a new connect. And they thinking it could be her. Now Noma. Ain't in disagreement. On popping Zion. Cause he just tried to fly her wig. She tells him to have it done by end of day, and they got a deal. Now, Kane in disbelief that they even have to deal with Tariq's little <laughs> Kane want to pop Tariq right there. But Noma growing a little tired of Kane, <laughs> you know, due to his antics, his need to kiss her <laughs> suck up, and in turn, show how big his man parts are, you know. And while she does like a good suck up, <laughs> it's starting to impact her bottom line, her cash flow. Kane now starting to see that Noma ain't all that he had her cracked up to be. Number one, she giving out threats. Number two, she's still dealing with Davis. And number three, earlier she threw a whiskey glass at his ass. <laughs> Whiskey was still in it. He like this little relationship done turned volatile. Starting to think little Effie ass wasn't so bad after all. 
ain't feeling Noma's brutish British ways right now. She asks Kane if he knows who got the drop on her stash. He tells her no. But no, he does. Because he found out earlier from the brother of one of the cats that soldiered up with Drew and Monet and got popped when they ran up on no mustache that Drew and Monet that Drew and Monet ain't take care of him was doing him dirty he ran up on Kane didn't he was about to spit hot fire like Dylon on Kane ass <laughs> Who's my top three MCs? Dylon, Dylon, and Dylon. I spit hot fire. <laughs> Keeps that little tidbit of info he got to himself. No need to see his mama get caught up over Noma's disrespectful ass. They peace up out of there. Now that he got the nod from Noma, Tariq goes to find his ace boom braid. Because they got work to put in now, you know. Heads back home to Stanfield campus, where he find Braden acting a damn fool. The little group they got as headliner on the parties they host, you know. L and Bruchandria's group. Doing they... Timeless but classic rendition of that old school love. <laughs> that old school love. <laughs> kind of sound like Lauren Hill's The Sweetest Thing I Ever Know. It's like a kiss on a collarbone. Braden in the audience feeling himself, feeling like some blow would make it all better. <laughs> and pull out some blow Braden does, blows his nose with it, took him a little bump. You know, like. <laughs> he ain't give a damn who saw either. He at that level. Got on his sniff, sniff. And whatever was left probably rubbed it on his gums. You know. You know how it's done. <laughs> Yo, the coke had him on one. He like, yeah, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> it's my time to shine. Been gone for much too long. I gotta get mine. This fool decides to make his unofficial debut as the fifth member of the damn group. <laughs> Joins them on stage during their performance. Appeared up on that joint like an unhinged groupie. Wandering. Get to hugging all up on L. <laughs> To her disgust, she like, what the f is going on? Like, what is you doing? Security? She like, get the f out of here. Quickly brushes his ass off. He ain't paid no mind. He like, oh, you know me. Singing to himself and shit. That old school love. <laughs> Brayden leaves L, goes over to the DJ. Like, yeah, bro. Try to cut a scratch on the record. The DJ was queuing up and shit. He like. <laughs> Brayden was up in that bitch looking like a white flavor flavor in that piece. He even slightly hopped on Bruchandria's ass. Just slightly. Like he was rubbing it. Or sizing it up or some shit. 
You know, Braden was like, But Braden ain't no damn fool. He did that shit from a distance. He ain't want to catch no right hook from Bruchandria. He like, that old school love. <laughs> Braden was singing to himself and shit. Braden was on one. That goddamn coke was hitting. His shit must have been laced with Mountain Dew and crack. Tariq was in the audience looking hella disgusted. <laughs> he looked like he wanted to kill Brayden. Brayden was bouncing around that set like a damn pinball. Eventually, they get his ass off the damn stage. Bouchandria gave his ass the final push, too. Treated his ass like a TLC scrub. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Not even that old school love. <laughs> Braden antics wasn't getting no love. Looked like they wanted to kick the Braden ass collectively. <laughs> he, Braden was getting that new school love. That love that'll whip your ass. If you out of pocket. Braden like dudes. I'm the one that put the show on. <laughs> Braden on his entitlement. He like you guys are no fun. I mean no fun. He come off the damn stage. To re-grab him up like yo are you high or what? Braden looking at him like well. It ain't what. Tariq, like, get your together. We got to pop Zion tonight. Tells Braden to text Zion that they ready to re-up right now. And Braden get on that. Now, just as they making their way out, Anya come up in that joint, ready for another heaping helping of Tariq. <laughs> She feeling all on him. She like, let's go right now. She was tower. She was towering over his ass, though, wasn't she? Tall shorty. He like, I'm sorry, baby. I can't tonight. I got to dip out. She like, uh-uh. Oh, no, the hell you ain't. You can't be serious. He like, I'm sorry, baby. Kisses a hand and all of that. You know, trying to be nice about it. Dips out. Anya and all of her bouginess and all of her Grace Jones boomerang self. You don't turn down this. No man could turn down. <laughs> no man turns down this pussy. Wipes Tariq's kiss off with the disgust. She wiped it off like his mouth had doo-doo on it. <laughs> she was like, and they get to the spot Tariq and Braden that is, where Zion stand. Zion already suspect something is up. Like he just get to the safe house and they ready to re-up. He like, oh, this is some bull here. Braden knock on the door. Zion snatched him up with the quickness. Tossed him inside like it wasn't nothing. Tariq tries a follow up. But Zion got the drop on him too. They get to tussle him. And Zion got the better of both of them. Tossed Braden ass through a wall at one point. Damn safe house looked like it was built out of cardboard or some shit. But it is two of them. And eventually Tariq winds up cutting Zion guts up with a piece of glass. Now before Zion meets his maker. Tells him he was recruited by Carter. And now they about to be owned by Carter too. Tariq like, damn all of that. Zion like, all right, little ghost. You know, he's smiling and she got his gold, his gold teeth shining. He like, all right, little ghost. You got it. Wow. 
Tariq, like, it's over, player. Boom, 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 boom. See you at the crossroads. Now, all this shit Zion was getting up to, the man mine wasn't on his money. So Tariq put it on the carpet. Him and Braden piece up out of there. Now, as they leaving out, he gets a call from Dirty Dot, Tariq, that is. She like, what's up? Is, is the job done? Tariq tells her the job is done. Told her he would do anything for her and the baby. She might have got a little soft in the seat of her pants or something. Because <laughs> she told Tariq to meet her at a little shop. You know, said the baby wanted some cookies. Wanted him to bring the milk, you know, get to talking about some things. He like, okay. All right, he feeling that. He heads over to meet her. On the way, hits Davis up. Let's him know all is in order. Who then hits Kane up. Who then lets Noma know that the deal is done. Kane asked Noma if Effie was there when the Russians got shot up. Norma like, what, your little girlfriend? She like, she all right. Kane gets up to leave. She like, yeah, go ahead, check on your little boo. Call Kane Dusty. <laughs> it wasn't an adjective. It didn't precede a noun. It was just Dusty. <laughs> As he walked out the door. Kane goes to check on Effie. And it's a little situation, you know, because because Kane did just remove himself from whatever he and Effie had, you know, just up and left so he could body rock and door knock Noma's boots. Left Effie hanging like loose ends. You, you got me hanging on string now. I'm not your plaything. <laughs> and even through all of that, there was still a little love, a little affection between Cain and Effie. Or maybe Cain was just feeling dumb as shit, seeing Noma's true colors. And maybe Effie was just scared as shit, seeing her life flash before her very eyes. Maybe they both just appreciate and having a friendly face in their face at this moment. At this time. Effie tell Kane she don't know if she can be the super fly drug dealing book study and dynamo they've known her to be no more. Now, as all this is happening, eventually Nico comes back into the precinct, hands Felicia her cut from the Russian take, gets to check in on the status of what she asked Diana to do, sees through a camera feed that Diana wasn't the one that put that work in, leaves out of there pissed, heads down to holler at Diana, who she is able to track. With the burner phone she gave her, you know. Finds her down near her destination where she's set to meet Tariq. Felicia like, what did you tell Tariq? Concerned that Diana told Tariq about their deal. Now after all Diana got going on and been through these past couple of weeks, she just threw with Felicia. Like she done with Felicia's ass. <laughs> abrasive, line-stepping Felicia. She like, I'm done with your dumb ass. Take this phone. I'm out. Threw the phone at Felicia. Felicia ain't feeling this at all. Put her hands on Die. Who brushed him off. Felicia like, oh, hell no. Nah. Slap dirty Die the hell up. 
threw her in a collection of trash. Stomped a mud hole in that ass like a public enemy song. Put hands and feet on Dirty Die. Kicked her in the stomach. And all of that. Left Diana. Left Diana in the alley with the trash. Looking like Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> Tariq eventually makes his way to the shop where he was going to meet Di. Finds her laid out on the side of it. Smelling like old bananas and bad fish. Look like that baby might not make it. Look like Di might not make it. 